In the Tennessee uh, State House, they have just voted to expel State Representative Justin Jones. This is because of a disorderly uh, protest that he and two other Democratic colleagues uh, held um, last week in the wake of uh, the shootings uh, in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, six people died. Uh, there were a lot of people who were very angry about uh, the, those six murders. They conver conver um, converged on the Capitol. Three of those state representatives, three Democrats, um, Justin Jones, Justin Pearson, and Gloria Johnson, uh, were disruptive on the floor of the State House. They've, uh, one of the three has now been uh, expelled from the State House, and the other the votes on the other two will happen. Uh, imminently. Uh, let's go to Ryan uh, Young. Ryan, they did it. I'm, I have to say, I'm, I, I, it seems like a rather harsh punishment for, uh, for being unruly on the floor of the State House. But when you have a supermajority, uh, you know, your party can do whatever it wants. Absolutely. Uh, Jake, I'm not surprised by this based upon what Democrats have been telling us all day long. They believe this vote would happen. In fact, we've learned there are plans for all three members to walk outside and do a news conference after they're expelled. We do believe Justin Jones will also be escorted from inside the chambers after this uh, procedure happens. Um, there's hope that he's allowed to go to his office to clear it out himself. But there's also a belief that he may be walked directly out and not even get a chance to pack up his own items. Um, this is shocking to so many people because obviously the focus now, especially a lot of the media focus, is on this going on and not the six lives that were lost just last week. And even the heroic of, uh, officers who went in to neutralize the threat. So now you can hear those protesters screaming in the background, we thought this would happen. We're also told more people might be swelling into the area because they want to participate in the rally that's going to be held here after all these uh, proceedings are done. But Jake, this is quite a shock when you think about the fact that no one has ever been expelled for a procedural matter. Um, this comes down to decorum, and the decorum wasn't followed, giving the Republicans a chance to pull this off. And like you've noted earlier, these members will have a chance to run for their seat again. So we might be back in the same situation with these same members back here in a few months after they probably will get expelled today. So there, there was a motion to adjourn, but that has been defeated, and they are now the Tennessee State House after expelling a Representative Justin Jones, who you saw there in the, and you see there in the white suit, uh, who was holding up a fist a second ago, uh, they are now proceeding to House Resolution 64 to expel State Representative Gloria Johnson. Uh, there, there you see a State Representative, former, I should say, ex State Representative Jones, uh, speaking to reporters there. Uh, and and uh, Ryan Young, it is shocking, as you note, uh, the idea that what has motivated a state legislative body in Tennessee a week after this horrible attack on a Christian school uh, where a disturbed person entered with guns, killed three nine-year-olds, killed three faculty and staff members before police officers, law enforcement from the Memphis area bravely charged in and, uh, and killed, the, the, killed the shooter, that what has actually prompted action is the fact that three state house democrats were unruly uh on the floor of the state house and look obviously they violated the rules obviously they were disruptive and unruly uh and i'm not saying that they shouldn't be punished but it is just stark you see i believe that that uh, that is gloria johnson there on the left uh state representative gloria johnson a democrat um the action that they're taking right now is to disenfranchise hundreds of thousands of Tennesseans who will now not have state representation in the state house. That's a former state representative Jones embracing with soon to be former state representative uh, Gloria Johnson uh, on the floor of the uh, Tennessee state house in Nashville. What is motivating uh, the, the legislators is this act of civil disobedience, this act of violating legislative decorum and not the murders of these three individuals, three students, 
uh, nine-year-olds at a, at a Christian school in Memphis or the three faculty members, six individuals murdered, that is not prompting the state legislature to act. It is these, these state representatives, these three Democrats being rude. I, I mean, that is unusual. I would think that, and I'm not talking about gun control, but I would think there would be some action taken to try to figure out how to protect the students and faculty. Yeah, let's, first things first, Jake, when you think about it, Jones is sharp tongue. So there's a lot of people that he's tussled with within the state house who I think are sort of happy the fact that they get a chance to take away his seat. We saw today how he was able to defend himself so very well as he was talking back and forth with lawmakers. Um, but a lot of people believe before we even got here today that this was a done deal, that he was going to be gone um, at the least. And, and so many people have been trying to change things but here's the thing, we, we've been talking to teachers all day long who spent their entire time to come down here, employing lawmakers hopefully to change their mind on this one and maybe focus more on gun legislation. Um, I talked to a Republican uh, woman off camera who said she didn't want to go on camera, but she said the whole idea here, look, we live in the South, I don't expect them to take away our guns, but she wanted to see something change to make school kids safe. And so we heard that over and over from people saying maybe the Republican Democratic talking points needed to go away just a little bit in order to make some sort of space here to help children out. Um, we had teachers crying on air with us today begging for change because they don't know what to tell their students because they say their own students expect for something to happen in school now. It's that sad fear that we should be dealing with uh, front and center according to the protesters who came here. And then you have this action taking place, a change in state history really when you think about how this is going to move forward. And of course with that Republican supermajority, they make the rules. And so these three lawmakers pretty much challenge that rule governing body and decorum is going to win out in this one in terms of them being able to make this change. Now you hear people on the floor right now saying this is a change for America and democracy. And that's something that we're going to think about moving forward. Uh, Holly, um, what is your reaction uh, to what we're seeing here on the side, on one side of the screen? Uh, on the left, you see State Representative Justin Jones in his white suit holding up his fist. He was there for a second outside the chamber. He has been ejected. He has been expelled from the state legislature uh, for the unruly behavior from last week. And um, we see on the right side of the screen, State Representative Gloria Johnson, who is about to be expelled. Uh, I, I, Holly, are you surprised that, that this is what the state legislature is choosing to act on, even though six innocent people were murdered in a Tennessee school, in a Christian school, and, and that would seem to me, just as a citizen, to be more offensive than the than the rude behavior we saw. No, um, I'm a native Tennessean, and I'm sadly not. Uh, this is not a surprise to me. It's very I, it's very upsetting to me as a Tennessean. Um, the, what this is about is the fact that the Republican supermajority has never liked Gloria Johnson. They don't like Justin Jones, and they don't like Justin Pearson. And this has given them an opportunity to take some action and to take revenge on them for speaking up. Let's listen Tennessee's in. Let's, got let's some listen. Of the laxest gun law. Yeah, let's just listen. Let's just listen into State Representative Jones, a former State Representative Jones. Let's listen to him. America to expel voices of opposition and dissent um, is a signal of authoritarianism and it is very dangerous and I hope that as a nation watches that that we that we we put this this light on Tennessee to say that this should sound the alarm across the nation that we're entering into very dangerous territory. You have two of your colleagues in there who are still going to face questions today. What would you say to them, your other two members of the Tennessee Three? I mean, we're in this together. That we, the three of us, the Tennessee Three, we stand together. So I'm going to the balcony to go support them. Um, you know, I can't be on the House floor right now. So I'm going to go to the gatherings and, and, and stay for the um, hearing because we, we are in this together. And it's, it's so important that we represent, you know, we're multiracial, intergenerational. We represent Memphis, Nashville, Knoxville. We stand united and the people across the nation are paying attention to what's happening because this is not the end. But what they did was signal that, that 
if we don't act, we, we, we will lose our democracy. Today was a signal that we have lost democracy in Tennessee and that we are on the path toward authoritarianism, to be quite honest. Will you run again? I, I have no idea, you know, what are my next steps in terms of responding to this extreme measure, but I will continue to show up with the people and continue to, to, to you know, to demand action on common sense gun laws, because what we were saying was let's, let us pass an assault weapons ban, let's take action, and they responded by assaulting democracy. So thank you all so much. Thank you, Representative Jones. I don't have any next steps, but I will continue to show up in this Capitol with these young people, whether I'm in that chamber or outside. And so we don't know what's next. I'm going to consult with my legal team because I believe that what they did was unconstitutional. Um, I believe that it, it violated um, our, you know, many of our rights. And so um, it, it silenced more poorly than just me. My district, 78,000 people have lost their, their vote and their voice because of the extreme actions of this body. And so I'll continue to show up, and, and we must continue to hold them accountable.